today's video, we're going to be breaking down the best blitzes in Madden 24. Now, uh, if you guys want to get my full ebooks on any of these formations, I have a brand new website over at school.com. It's an online community where you're going to be able to get access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks, both for Madden and for college football in Madden 24, Madden 25, college football 25, all of that stuff. You're going to have access to all of that stuff for just $10. So if you want to sign up for the school page, the link is going to be down in the description. We already dropped um, a ton of ebooks over there. I think we're over at over 17 offensive and defensive ebooks over at the school page. So if you're not a member of that yet, best place to get better at Madden, best place to get better at college football, link's going to be down in the description. So for the first blitz we're going to be going over is the nickel 335 odd. This defense is over on the school page. You're going to flip the formation, which means you need to have auto flip off. All you're going to do to set this up is you're going to blitz your linebackers, QB contain, show blitz, and then you're going to move this guy basically right about here. If you move him too far, his blitz angle will change, but just to that side. So you see we're kind of creating a crossfire blitz, and then you're going to stand as close to the defensive tackle as you possibly can, and this is going to scream right up the A-gap pretty much every single time at your opponent. The next blitz that we're going to be going over is in the 4-3 even 6-1 defense and I think this is the most powerful blitz in the game. It's even better in Ultimate Team where the players are faster, but it's cover four quarters. All you're going to do to set this up is you're going to spread your linebackers, blitz your linebackers, QB contain. Uh, or I'm sorry, you don't have to QB contain. You just stand down here with your user. And then you can send five as well. So if you only want to send five, just put one of those linebackers in a zone. And oftentimes that blitz is going to scream off of the opposite edge. Now what's really cool about this defense, and I think what makes it super effective, is let's say they start to block people. All you have to do is send six. So you're going to send one more linebacker, one more player than they can block. As you see, you're going to be able to get this to come in off the other side of the defense. This also features, in my opinion, the best four down line sheds in the game. And if you guys want to get my entire uh, ebook on 4-3, even 6-1, it's on our school page as well. Completely up to date with the Mutt lineup. As you can see, occasionally you can get B and A gaps, even if you're only sending three out of this. So super good defense, super good blitz out of the 4-3, even 6-1. The next blitz that we're going to be going over is in the Chiefs, or I'm sorry, in the multiple defense playbook, Chiefs playbook as well. It's dime normal. Again, we're going to have that auto flip defensive play call for this one. We're actually going to turn it on, and we are going to use the play cover three buzz press. All you're going to do is pinch your defense. You're going to blitz that corner off of the left side, and this is a simple five-man blitz that's super effective and can actually result in A-gap pressures um, just depending a little bit on, you know, kind of how they how they do how they do their pickups. One of my favorite adjustments to this blitz to kind of help the A-gap a little bit is to crash my defensive line uh, to the right. So you'll see here, I did not mean to spread them. Uh, you'll see here that when we crash them to the right, it's going to give them a little bit more of a sharper blitz angle that can lead to that B-gap or A-gap-y type of pressure now if you wanted to make this a little bit simpler on yourself as far as a setup perspective what you can do is you can go to the play dime blitz three and what you'll see when you utilize the play dime blitz three is it almost always puts this linebacker a little bit closer so just by pinching crashing to the right you see right here this is going to come in a little bit better a little bit faster and give you a better chance of that quick gap pressure i do find that it's a little bit more consistent um, if you were to, if you were to run it with a more spread, but as you see right here, there's that B gap, there's that A gap pressure kind of disengages super good pressure here out of dime. If you want to get my full dime, normal defensive ebook, that is going to be available on our school community, which is school.com slash Cody Ballard. Again, that link is going to be down in the description. The next defense we're going to be covering is dollar three two six. Now, there's a lot of ways to run this defense, but the first one we're going to talk about is probably, in my opinion, the most effective. That is free safety zone blitz. Out of the dollar, we're going to turn auto flip defensive play call off. We're going to turn our auto alignment to man or to base align. And the setup for this is we're going to press, we're going to pinch our defensive line, we're going to zone that safety on the right hand side. And this is the four man version. Now, this four man version does not work all of the time, but if, a high, if you have a high agility, high acceleration, smaller safety in that position, it certainly can work. Another little tip you can do is back off this slot corner. And sometimes this blitz can come, as you can see right there, right through the A gap. We got a full defensive ebook on this. There's a lot of different ways to run dollar. Um, and then the other method that I like to use for this a gap pressure is to blitz five by sending that slot corner and as you can see there almost always this blitz is going to come in 
Now that kind of leads me to my next blitz out of dollar that I do think is really effective. One of the best ways that people like to block the dollar defense uh, when we're running it like that is they love to double team the nose. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run DB fire and what you'll see is if they double team the nose, we're gonna now send both of these slot corners. All we did was pinch our defensive line, press, pinch your defensive line and crash your D line out. And you're gonna see that the pressure is gonna scream in off one, if not both of the outside edges. Now that is just one way to run dollar. It's not the only way to run dollar, but it is a good way to run dollar. And if you're gonna run it that way, make sure you have DB Fire 2 in your audibles. Now the next way that we like to run the dollar defense or the free safety zone blitz, we have eBooks on all of this stuff in our school community, is we're just going to QB contain. We're not gonna do anything other than QB contain and we're gonna allow the safety to walk down. You don't wanna press, you don't wanna do anything. Just QB contain if you want to. You can bring this guy down if you want, but super simple defense here as well. And you're gonna see that this is gonna scream through the B gap. Now the reason why we would do something like that is because then we can audible to DB fire and we can send the blitz off of both edges and it kind of loops around uh, and it's just basically DB fire to completely stock. Now the next method that I'm gonna show you has come to be known as probably one of the more versatile ways to play defense in Madden and that is to use the double safety walk down. So what you're gonna do with this is you're gonna put free safety zone blitz in your audibles and you're going to put DB fire two in your audibles as well. So the way this defense is going to work is you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your base line is turned on and you're gonna come out in double safety you go every single time. And all you're gonna to do to set this up is you're gonna audible to free safety zone blitz. And as you see now, we're in the same basic concept that we were just in and we're able to send the pressure. Now let's say that you wanted to send the pressure but you wanted it to be from a pinch defensive line. That's where you can audible to spinner pinch your defensive line, and then you can drop, you can basically create and craft whatever coverage that you want to behind the pressure. What this is going to do though, is it's gonna give you a better chance at a nice little disengage and better a get pressure than even free safety zone blitz could have had. The cool part about this version of the defense is when you audible to DB fire too, because those corners are a little bit backed off, a lot of times you're gonna get double edge pressure at the opponent, which makes this one of the best ways to run the defense as a whole. And another way to run dollar that I did wanna recommend, as you can see, there's a lot of versatility in the defense, and it is, in my opinion, probably the best way to be playing defense. Um, it, it, it just gives you a lot of different options. We're gonna turn our auto alignment to default. We're gonna turn it off of base. We're gonna turn it on default. Auto flip's gonna be off, and then really important, zone coverage is gonna be set to match. What we're then gonna do is, where we had DB fire, we are gonna put cover one robber press. A lot of people don't do this, but I do think it's a little thing that can make your defense 10 times better. By having cover one press in our audibles, we're able to do some really cool things with this defense. We're gonna come out in the play spinner. By coming out in the play spinner, all we're gonna do is we're gonna press, pinch our defensive line, and you see here we have basically the same thing that we were just talking about with that edge pressure. So all we're gonna do on the right-hand side here is we're gonna throw this guy on the right into a curl flat, and that's literally it. The entire setup is done. You're gonna send five, really good send five pressure, really good against bunch. Spinner for the last several years has killed bunch just as a concept. The next setup that we're gonna use is the four-man variation of this where we put both slot corners in coverage. So you see here, this is what that's gonna look like. This is a little different than the free safety zone blitz, and in my opinion, a little bit better of a pressure uh, in terms of its consistency as a four-man, really consistent four-man. And if we wanna send even more than that, we can go ahead and say, okay, you know, now situationally, maybe they're double teaming and we wanna send these two slot corners. Well, now what we can do here is we can go ahead and you know maybe do a defense that looks something like what you see on your screen where we're able to kind of put some roll coverages around and we're able to send both of those slot corners off of the edge for pretty good pressure. Now the reason that I like to put the cover one robber press in here is I can audible to cover one robber and what you'll notice here is it's the same blitz angle that we have from uh, free safety zone blitz. You'll see that, that middle linebacker when I pinch my D line, it's the same blitz angle. So this is a little bit more free safety zone blitz like, but you're doing it from a man alignment type of perspective. So it just kind of, you know, again, if you want to send more pressure, all you're going to do, just blitz that slot corner. You see here we have everybody on the right side completely manned up. And then, you know, maybe wanted to do something like, you know, for, for example, this. Now you're able to send five, but you have really, really good coverage pretty much on everybody. You have everybody manned up, every quick row, every quick throw is taken away. And as you 
as you can see, you're able to get that A gap type pressure. So Spinner is another one of the best blitzes, uh, in my opinion, in the entire game. It's super simple and super effective. Another really underrated aspect of Spinner is this five-man version where you can man this guy up onto the running back. And then the beauty of this is sometimes you'll get this little disengage off the defensive line. So those are the dollar blitzes. The next blitz we're going to be talking about is nickel blitz zero out of the nickel three, three normal uh, defense. This has been one of the best blitzes all year long. All you're going to do is you're going to have your defense flipped. If you want to have it on baseline, you certainly can do that as well. But basically the setup is you're going to pinch your D line, shift your linebackers left, blitz all of your linebackers. And then from there, you can go ahead and craft your coverage however you want. It's very similar uh, to Spinner and just in terms of the practical implications of how the defense works. As you can see, this five-man pressure is going to scream right up the A-gap pretty much every single time. It's really hard to block this blitz. And uh, this blitz is probably, in my opinion, one of the better A-gaps in the game just because of how uh, just consistently it comes in. And the beauty of this as well is – you can you know, kind of craft your coverage however you want behind it, but you know that you're going to be getting somebody coming through the A-gap unless they have you know, different pass protection methods set up. Now, you can if you want to. If you only wanted to send four, you certainly can try to kind of experiment with some send fours. It would look something like this right here. I would want to put this kind of hard flat, you know, but basically something like this. A lot of times, this blitz angle actually can come in a little bit better than dollar just because he's coming from a wider angle and uh, can, can actually get some really good pressure. So that's the nickel 3-3 blitz. The next blitz we're going to be showcasing uh, to you is a more of a five-man kind of aggressive blitz. This is out of the nickel over, and it's the overload blitz play. All we're going to do is flip this. You could also do this out of the cover three cloud as well. Uh, what you're going to do is you're just going to globally blitz your linebackers. You are going to shift your defensive line uh, to the left, and then you're going to kind of stack this guy in here like so. If you want to crash your D-line, uh, crash your D-line to the right. And you see this is kind of the basic concept. And a lot, oftentimes that little A-gap blitzer will come right up the middle. Now, this is a little bit better, in my opinion, out of the overload blitz. Just think the blitz angles are a little bit better, especially from the D-line. There's You don't have to do as much overload blitz. And, again, you are going to flip this to make sure the pressure is good. So, again, all we're going to do is we're just going to shift our line to the left, blitz our linebackers, and that's pretty much it. The blitz is going to be pretty much set up, and all you're going to do is you're just going to scream right through the A-gap, as you can see. Now, the cool part about nickel over in some of these blitzes with the with the true linebacker, you can move him and his, gap, his blitz angle won't change. So if I want to move him like that and create kind of a crossfire type of method, this will work as well, and you'll see that he will kind of cross into the A-gap, kind of similar to the nickel 3 through 5 odd blitz as well. The next blitz we're going to be going over is out of the 3-4 odd. I love this. I have a full ebook on this on our school website. Again, link to that's in the description. It's only $10 to be a member. Uh, what we're going to do, again, auto flip is going to be off. And then really everything else, up to you. I like to have baseline on. doesn't really matter that much. But the play is covered four quarters. We're going to flip the play. And then uh, the setup here. Whoops, I forgot to flip it. We're going to set uh, – so simple setup. All you're going to do, pinch your D-line. You're going to slide this guy out just a little bit, and then you're going to uh, blitz the defensive end on that left side. It actually categorizes as a defensive end, unfortunately. Cool part about 3-4 odd is when you press, the safeties come way down into the box, and you just get really nice alignment. Now, you can try to send four with this. I find that this send four is not as good as the dollar uh, send four, but you can try um, – and I just need to come back out in, in the in the proper alignment there because for whatever reason we forgot to flip the play. So we'll get cover for quarters. You want that A gap blitzer on the left. Hopefully you maybe see a trend here with these blitzes. A lot of them are kind of emphasizing the A gap on the left. But basically here, if we want to send four, just shade underneath, move him out a little bit. A lot of times he can come in. He doesn't always come in, but he certainly can. And um, you know, if you a, a nice passive pressure that you have here, but really the best method is to pinch your D line. And then you're just going to manually blitz that left side guy. And then really what I like to do is the coverage. It looks like this super simple five man. You can contain. I think the contain out of three, four odd is really good for rollouts and stuff. And as you can see, we're able to get some nice pressure with the defense.
The next defense we're going to be going over, the next blitz we're going to be going over is out of the nickel 3-3 Cub. Yes, this defense is back, and we're going to be using the Tampa 2. Now, for this, we're actually going to turn our auto flip on, and we're going to turn our auto alignment to default and match coverage on as well. Now, the setup for this is really simple. All we're going to do is we're going to shift our defensive line to the running back side. We're going to crash our line out. Blitz our linebackers and QB contain. So you see, this is kind of what the defense looks like. And all we're trying to do is kind of distract this guy on the left side. And you're going to see a lot of times you're going to be able to get this nice little kind of rush off of that edge. Now, another thing you can do with this defense, if you wanted to kind of mess around with it, I've talked about this before, is really just a defense that looks more so like this. You got to get down there with your user in the gap, but this can cause some gap pressure if you get a fast defensive in at that defensive end position. But really what I tend to like to do is I like to just simply crash them out with a QB contain. And I find this to be the most consistent way to be able to get pressure out of 3-3 Cub as of as of today so again all you got to do just shift your d-line one side crash out if you want to do it like this you can try to do it like this oftentimes you know they'll kind of loop around and the loop come in it's a really uncomfortable pressure even when they block this pressure i find that this pressure can give you some really really good um just just general heat against the against your opponent so again something like this there you see we get that it that b gap pressure really really nice little blitz out of three three cub the last blitz we're going to show you is out of the quarter normal. I think quarter normal is one more slept on. Uh, defense is just in general in Madden 24, and it is out of the play, free safety to deep. So this blitz right here, super simple, just pinch your defense. And then what I like to do with this is we're going to crash our defensive line um, to the uh, – really either way, you can crash them out. You can cr It doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but the cool part about this is you can drop – this guy on the right in the coverage so you see it's kind of what it looks like what i like to do here is we're going to try to get the pressure to come in off the opposite side so it's a five-man blitz we're going to try to get that edge pressure off the left side and as you see kind of loops in off of the left side this is kind of a variation of three three cub in terms of the practical uh practical way that it's going to play out another thing you can do if you want just call it stock and this little uh, b gap can come in off of the right side so Pretty simple little defense here. Uh, another thing that you can do is you can set it up kind of like so, and then again, just drop this guy out into coverage. And this is a really fun little defense. I think this is a very underrated defense, and it's also very effective against most of the runs that you are going to see. Guys, this is just a tip of the iceberg of the content that we have in the school community. It's where you're gonna get access to all of my eBooks, offensive and defensive eBooks everything over there for just 10 bucks if you guys want to get access to that the link's going to be down in the description below thank you so much for watching the video all the way to the end and as a bonus for signing up for our school website uh, today you're going to be able to get access to a complete film review by me first 500 members that join our school community between now and the launch of madden 25 are going to get a complete uh, full film breakdown by me in which I'll be able to watch your game tape and kind of break down how you can improve as a Madden player, what are some things to think about going forward, and how you can really propel yourself as a Madden player going into the next season. So if you guys want to get access to all of that stuff to help you become better at this game, the link is going to be down in the description below, school.com slash Cody Ballard. Link is in the description.